Hi everyone, welcome. I hope you're having a great day. Today I'm gonna show you how I made these three world market dupes using all Dollar Tree items. I was really loving the gold colors that I was seeing and this sign right here is probably one of my favorite ones that I've ever made. So the first little thing I'm gonna do is this hammered gold round mirror, which I cannot believe it was $100. Mine is probably a little bit smaller, but I think it looks very similar. I picked up this little charger for a buck at the Dollar Tree, and I picked up this marbleizing spray from Walmart, and then this little gold craft paint from Walmart as well. So I, the first thing I did was took the charger outside and I sprayed it with the marbleizing spray, and I've never worked with this stuff before. It was so cool, it like came out in strings, and it literally made it look marble. Like I had no idea what I was even buying. I thought it was just the color, but this actually turned out really cool. So now I'm just taking this gold acrylic paint and I'm sponging it on with a little sponge. And I just want it to kind of get that hammered look. And then once that dries, I'm just taking this old mirror that I had from Ikea. I think I had like a six pack of them. And I'm just gonna take my hot glue and glue it right in the center. And that is it for this one. So on the picture, I think this is meant to be hung up, but I thought it would be cool to use as like a little tray to hold some stuff. So I went ahead and put this on my dresser and just put some flowers on it. And I think it looks really pretty and elegant. All right, for this next one, we are gonna make a round gold sunray mirror. I cannot believe this originally is $120. And this one is definitely probably a little bit smaller. Um, so what you're gonna need is a round mirror from Dollar Tree. And then I have, I have two packs of these wood dowels. And I'm also gonna be using this metallic paint as well. And of course your glue gun. And the first thing I did was I found these, I believe they're wire cutters. And I'm just gonna take and cut all of the wood dowels. I'm gonna leave some of them long, but then I'm just gonna kinda either cut them in half or cut them in like, 70 30 so that I just want different sizes of the little rods then I also had a little thing of sandpaper next to me because when I cut them they were kind of rough on the edges so I was just sanding them a little bit if you guys have something that cuts wood better I mean this wasn't the best thing to use but it worked and so I was just able to sand the edges to make them a little more smooth And now I'm gonna go ahead and pop the mirror out of the frame. I was actually going to glue the sticks onto this frame, but when I started to do it, it, they just weren't sticking very well and I just didn't care for how it looked. So I actually just went ahead and used the little mirror that was on the cardboard piece and I painted the cardboard the gold color and then I just went ahead and glued the wood sticks to that part and it worked out perfect. And now I'm just taking my glue and I'm just putting little strips on there and I'm just going to kind of stagger them. I'm going to do long and then a couple shorts. I just want them to be like different sizes each one. Like I don't want two of the same size in a row. So you're just going to go through and I spaced them probably about half an inch apart and I think this, I think that was like the perfect amount. And now I'm taking that same gold paint and I'm just gonna paint each stick. I thought this was gonna be so tedious, but it actually wasn't bad. Uh, the paint went on really easily and I only needed one coat. So this went a lot quicker than I was expecting it to. All right, now for probably my most favorite sign. All I needed for this was a frame from Dollar Tree. I found this wood contact paper from Dollar Tree. And then my mom had this old fork that I just thought was so cute. It had roses on it. And I just, I wanted something with character and this was perfect. But you can totally pick up a fork from Dollar Tree for a buck and this project will cost you like $3. So the first thing I did was take the glass out and I'm gonna go ahead and paint the frame with just this white acrylic paint. And I wanted it just to be kind of like an off-white, so I was mixing a little bit of this brown with it as well. Uh, I didn't want it to be totally white-white, I just wanted it to kind of be like a creamy color. So this worked out good.
Now I'm gonna take this beautiful fork and I'm gonna use that same color paint and just paint the fork. You can totally leave it silver, but I kind of wanted it to match the frame. And that's just how the picture was that inspired me. So I just wanted to paint it white. And now I'm gonna take the contact paper and I'm actually gonna use the glass that was in the frame. And I'm just gonna cover the glass with this contact paper. I made sure to cut the contact paper a little bit larger than the glass so that I could fold it over on the sides so that it was just nice and even and then it would fit back inside the frame. And now I originally I went on my computer and I found a font I liked and I wrote out what the and I actually tried doing the pencil trick with this to transfer, but it would not transfer onto here. You couldn't see it. So I am freehanding it. So it's not perfect, but I think it turned out pretty cute. So once you get the letters how you want them, then I'm going to go ahead and just glue the fork on there and then put this thing back into the frame. And you guys can totally, you could get little um, sticky letters, like or you can do the paint freehand however you want. You know, you can totally make it your own, but I just love how this one turned out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment down below, let me know which one is your favorite. And don't forget to subscribe if you guys are new, and we'll see you all next time. Bye.